guys, it's Nicole. So as of recently, I've kind of put it out there that I don't have my driver's license yet and that the reasoning behind that is that I'm scared. I am 21 years old and I haven't gotten my driver's license yet. And um, my driving history kind of started when I was in high school. I want to say I was a sophomore. Yeah, I was definitely a sophomore in high school. And during that time of my life, I was really into drugs and ditching school and just not doing what was expected of me as a civilized person. So I was pretty rebellious when I was a teenager. So um, driving and getting my permit and all that was the last thing on my mind. Even though, you know, some of my friends were getting their license and they were, you know, starting to drive and people were going to driver's ed, you know, like I, I remember that it wasn't really a big deal to me. We were really like broke. We couldn't afford a car anyways. You know, the only thing that I was really worried about was when I was going to get high again or when I was going to find some pot or whatever, you know, so wasn't worried about learning to drive at that point in time where most people my age were getting their permits or going through driver's ed or whatever. I did end up taking driver's ed when I was a sophomore. Um, I was pretty alright when it came to like, you know, the written stuff. Like I, you know, was catching on pretty quickly. It was all good, whatever. And um, I just, I remember hating it because I hated my high school at the time, I already didn't want to be at that school specifically, and um, the fact that I had to get up at the butt crack of dawn to go to that school early so that I could do my driver's ed, you know, and we didn't do any of the driving in the morning. What we did is, like, we would wake up way before school even opened, and then we would do our... Uh, you know, written and class learning and all that in the morning. And then after school, when school was over, then that's when we would do the driving part. But um, yeah, so I already wasn't liking it. You know, I didn't like being at school. I didn't like uh, getting up that early to go be at the school that I hated. So I just wasn't digging it. And um, yeah, so I went through my whole, you know, driver's ed training and all that, and um, every time, like, it was like a known thing that, like, I was not a good driver. <laughs> um, I, you know, when I was behind the wheel, then my classmates that were with me, you know, because we had three classmates per car, and uh, so there was two other students in the car with me, and then plus the driver's ed teacher. And um, every time I drove, like, everybody got scared because I was just, you know, not a good driver. Like, everybody I kind of, like, came, like, common sense to them or they had, like, previous experience with driving. I was, like, you know, I had no experience whatsoever. So I was a pretty scary driver, you know. I almost went through the front of a Albertsons gas station. So, um, yeah, it was pretty crazy, <laughs> you know. But, um, so, yeah, I went through my driver's ed. So yeah, I went through my whole driver's ed thing and for a while there I was getting really nervous. I didn't know if my driver's ed teacher was even going to pass me because every time I got behind the wheel he was scared shitless. So um, I was getting like really nervous. So I spent like a good week or so like just cracking down on the rules of the road and my mom was helping me to understand, you know, because my main problem was I couldn't remember which side of the road I was supposed to drive on. So I would be driving on like the wrong side of the road or they would tell me to like make a turn and I wouldn't even look to see if there was a car behind me. I'd just be like, okay, you know, so like I was just like, you know, really trying to like uh, figure out how to do this driving thing. And so uh, my mom, you know, helped me and then my last day doing the driving part, then I surprised my driver's ed teacher. I did really, really well and um, that was the only reason why he told my mom that he would pass me if um, she was okay with it. That was gonna happen and I just needed to pass my written part of the test. 
Well, I had mentioned before that I was really into drugs and really into, you know, ditching school and just being a rebel. And so I, um, it was like the day before I was supposed to take my last written test for driver's ed. I only needed to do one more day of, you know, classroom where I just took the test, you know. All I had to do was take the written test and if I passed, I was going to get my permit, you know. They already had it and everything, like... They had my permit and they were gonna, you know, give it to me if I passed this test, but I made the poor life choice of ditching a class that day with my friend and um, I got caught. So uh, the dean suspended me and um, because I was suspended, I wasn't able to take my test the next day and that caused me to flunk driver's ed. So. After that, I was kind of just like, you know, whatever, I don't, I don't need a license, I don't, I'm never gonna get a car, like, I'm broke as hell, like, I'm not, I'm never gonna get a car, I never really thought about the future when it came to, like, driving. So, um, years go on, you know, I go on with my life and still not worried about driving, the only thing that I, you know, how I worried about getting places was just getting rides places, you know, like, I had friends that drove, so... I would just get rides with my friends, you know, and uh, at this point, like, before I got pregnant, I, you know, didn't have a job, so it's not like I needed to get to work or anything, and then after I got pregnant, then that's when I started realizing, like, oh, shit, I need to get a car, I need to get a license, I need to learn how to drive, you know, and, um, yeah, so, again, years go on, and I push it off, push it off, and then Sean and I met, and, uh, when Sean and I met, neither of us had a license. He was in the same boat where he had kind of just pushed off uh, getting his license for a long time. And then um, when Sean and I met shortly after, his mom was like moving out of the house they were in. And so she told him like, hey, like you need to get your license and I will, you know, buy this van for you. So I don't know if I ever like mentioned our very first car pretty much, like our very first car which was a big green van. Um, some of you guys may know what I'm talking about, but we used to have a huge green van. Well, it wasn't huge, it was like just a green minivan. And uh, Sean, like his mom got that for him, um, bought that for him if he were to get his license. So um, the first year that Sean and I were together, we both went and we took our written test. We both passed. I ended up getting my permit and then um, we were both going to go on the same day to go take our driver's test. And when we went, then uh, like I had forgotten something, like I didn't have like my receipt from the DMV saying that I had passed my written test. So um, he wouldn't let me drive, you know, he wouldn't let me take the driver's test, the driver, the driver teacher or whatever, he wouldn't let me take the test. So I um, didn't take the test and Sean ended up taking his test and he passed. So Sean got his license that day, which was actually on his birthday. And um, so he ended up getting his license and then we got the van. And then from there, I just got comfortable. I got comfortable with Sean driving me around, you know, like shortly after he got the van, then I got my first job at the movie theater, and then Sean was watching Aaliyah for me and taking me to work and picking me up, so it was all good, you know, like we didn't have to worry about, well, I didn't have to worry about, you know, learning to drive because my boyfriend already had a license, so, um, not until we moved to Oregon did we really come into problems with me not having a license. So for those of you who are just joining us on this video, I moved to Oregon about eight months ago. Oh, actually it's nine months. I moved to Oregon nine months ago away from Idaho and everybody I know pretty much. So um, after I moved to Oregon and Sean and I both got hired at Pilot, then um, like it was all good, like whatever, you know, because we lived at the RV park, which was like right next door to Pilot, so I didn't have to drive very far, and I'm comfortable with like driving like little amounts or whatever. Like I used to do that when um, we were in Idaho, then Sean would be in the car with me and I would drive the 15 minutes from my house to work and then he would take the car and you know, all that. So I used to be comfortable with like driving small amounts when, uh, Sean and I first got together, or when we were in Idaho, sorry, what am I talking about, but, um, 
yeah so once we moved to idaho and then we moved into this house that's when it became like a necessity okay i need to learn how to drive i need to become comfortable i need to like you know fix this problem because now i've pushed it off for so long that driving is like brand spanking new to me it's like a completely new and foreign thing to me and everybody else my age is all comfortable they're all like driving have been driving for a long time now you know so like it's just like you know scary to me and um yeah so i started by just driving myself to and from uh pilot which in the beginning it sounds kind of crazy but like i was even scared to do that because like i just you know i was scared of like you know of n not being able to park you know like what if i parked all crooked and then i couldn't fix it or what if like you know i embarrassed myself and you know i just look stupid because i'm an adult and i don't know how to drive like i was just like really like starting to overthink things and that's what i've done you know every time i think about you know getting a license or driving is like i always just overthink things I would talk myself out of it and, you know, like I would just scare myself because it's all new to me. And um, so, like, there was one day at work I was feeling, like, really depressed and kind of, like, sad and just, um, you know, like, I was really stressing about the driving thing. And so I told myself, you know what, like, everybody drives, like, everybody does it, so I can too, you know, I'm not going to get in this car and it's not going to, you know, I'm not going to get in the car and have it explode just because I got in the car, you know, like, I have done it before, I know how to drive, I'm not going to just forget just because I get in the car. So, um, I started driving myself, um, like, with Sean in the car to small like short distances like I would go uh, 15 minutes to drain you know whenever he wanted to go to like the liquor store or something I would drive and at first like I was so shaky like I was just like you know I my heart was racing I was breaking out in hives you know and like I was just like shaking and I was so scared like I didn't want any noise I didn't want to like talk you know I was just really scared and um so that was the first time I drove, you know, from for like 15 minutes like to drain and um yeah, so I only did that a couple times. Um I you know, once I did it like the first couple times and I wasn't shaking, then I was like, okay, I don't need to do it anymore. I'm not shaking anymore, so whatever. But then like I said before, as soon as we moved into our new house, which we went from having like less than a five minute commute like literally our work was like right across the street from us at the rv park we went from having that to having you know we have to drive like 20 minutes to uh work and it's only supposed to be like a 15 minute drive because of where we're at but like because we're so far out of town you know like we're kind of like in the middle of nowhere then it takes us longer to get to work so um at first I was like really scared and I was really nervous and I couldn't stop thinking about it, you know, about how like our schedules just didn't work to where I was going to be able to get to work on time with Sean getting off and then coming to drop, come, come back from work and then come pick me up and then take me and then come bring the car back, you know, like we usually did. So I decided, you know, like it's time to buck up and I got to freaking face my fear, you know, because that was the biggest thing that I had to realize with this whole driving thing is it's just a fear, you know, it's just a fear. I'm just afraid because I don't do this every day, you know, and and once I do force myself to do it, once I do face that fear, then it's not going to be scary anymore. And the first time that I drove from our new house to work, I was shaking like a leaf. I was so scared because like I've been taking the back roads, but we still have to take freeway for a mile um, going like the back roads and stuff. So like I knew that I was going to have to get on that freeway, but like seriously, like the feeling of like I did it and this is not so bad was so amazing that first time I did it because like it's not that bad, you know, and I feel like the many, many trips that I made back and forth from work, like to and from work when we were living at the RV park, like I feel like that really helped me to be comfortable with my car and the way it moves and the way it feels and, you know, 
really just like my car, you know, I felt, I feel like all of that driving back and forth, just like, you know, the tiny amount of space, you know, between my work and my, in the old RV park, like, I feel like just driving that all the time helped me to become more com comfortable with the way my car feels. And so that definitely helped a lot. Here in Oregon, it rains all the time and I'm terrified to drive in the rain. Like I think it scares me more than the snow. Like, I've been like really scared of like the rain and I started by getting myself comfortable on like, you know, sunny days and stuff. And then now I'm starting to feel more comfortable with driving like, you know, when it's wet outside. And I'm really just like, I really just want to express to you guys how important it is to face your fears because I, this was like eating at me. I was so scared to drive, like so beyond scared. Like it made me like shake. I would break out in hives, like from being scared. And like, I was just so scared. I didn't want to do it. You know, I just did not want to face that fear. But once you like really like just tell yourself, like stop talking yourself out of it. Stop trying to scare yourself. The only reason you're scared is because you haven't done this before and just do it. The reason why I felt like I wanted to do this video right now is because today is actually the very, very, very first day ever in my entire life that I'm gonna have to drive my car completely and utterly by myself to and from work because they just changed my work schedule and that's another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was, you know, like, my work schedule, I told you guys before, was always going to be 1 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., but they just changed Delhi's schedule at my work, and so the schedules are all changed and all, all over the place, but now I'm going to be going back to closing shifts, and Sean works early mornings, so I can't be getting off at 12.30 at night and then have Sean come get me and then wake up at 3 in the morning to go to work. So I was like... I'm gonna have to drive you know I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do it and I'm prepared for that and I told him that and Sean was the one that was really like nervous I feel comfortable with the route I feel really comfortable I've done it you know countless times going the route that Sean and I always take but yeah so um, today is gonna be the very first day that I have to do it by myself and I do feel nervous but I've done it a million times you know and so I'm just gonna you know face that fear and get over it and then if I can drive by myself there's nothing that's can that can stop me I'm gonna go take my driver's test you know I'm gonna schedule to go take my driver's test and I'm gonna do it and that's that I'm just gonna face that fear and it just feels I just really really want to get across to you guys that how amazing it feels like when if you have something in your life that is holding you back you have to face those fears like just face them fight them like don't let them bring you down because it I'm telling you it feels so good to get over that obstacle and now I feel like I can do anything like and it sounds so stupid because I'm just talking about you know getting my driver's license but seriously it's been such a huge fear of mine for so long that the fact that I can get behind a wheel now and it doesn't make me shake or you know I feel like I'm gonna freaking die like it's awesome and I really like it so I think that's where I'm gonna end this video and I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and we will see you guys next time make sure you guys comment like subscribe and request videos bye